Hi, my name is Bob Eaton, and I'm here to tell you about a fun new program that my company, the Chrysler Corporation, sent to your teacher. It's called the ABCs of Airbag Safety. The back is where it's at. And it will help you learn about how to ride safely in a car or a truck with airbags. Then you can go home and you can teach your mom and your dad, your sisters and your brothers, and even your friends that it's cool to sit in the back seat. And it's the safest place for you to ride. Our partners, the American Automobile Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and Morton International, along with many police officers, nurses, and safety groups across the country are helping us with this program because they know that airbags save lives when used properly. So it's important for you to get in the habit of always buckling up in the back seat because the back is where it's at. At Chrysler, we take your safety very seriously. So remember, no matter what kind of car or truck or minivan that you ride in, it's cool to ride in the back. And if you don't believe me, listen to this guy. Oh boy, I can't wait to get to the office. So many cars, so little time. <laughs> Brought to you by Buckle Up Incorporated. When you absolutely, positively, no doubt about it, need to get where you're going in one piece. And by Momentum Stop Co. Helping to hold humans in automobiles for over 80 years. Cars are cool. They can take us all kinds of places. Now, by the time you're my age, you may have ridden over a million miles in a car. Oh. That's a long way. Now. With all that driving, things might happen. Your car could end up in a crash. Your car might hit another car. Another car might hit your car. There are a lot of cars. So every once in a while, there's an accident. So. We figured out ways to make people safer. We're talking about safety belts. Safety belts aren't the only devices we use in case of a crash. We also use airbags. Take a look at this. It's our happy passenger protection system, crashing car of science. Now these passengers are held in with safety belts. They protect people in crashes. Now for big crashes, we also use supplementary passive restraint systems. Airbags. Airbags are stiff sacks that are inflated very quickly with gas. It's usually nitrogen, the same gas as in the air we breathe. Now watch what happens when our crashing car of science experiences a very sudden stop. You ready? You ready? Three, two, one. Look, the front of the car is smashed, but the passengers are okay. That's because they were held in, restrained, securely. Now notice that people in back have more car between them and the crash than the people in the front. You're right about that. The back 
is always safer. On top of that, notice that everybody in the car was going the same speed. I mean, they're in the same car. Duh. But heavier people have more momentum. It takes more to stop them. So airbags are set up to protect average-sized grown-ups sitting up front. If you're smaller than an average-sized grown-up, say you're a kid, then the airbags might not protect you as well. So sit in back. As they say, the back is where it's at. It's amazing. People worldwide are arriving in the back seats of vehicles. The Queen of England, tourists in foreign lands, even little Jimmy and Susie, all going along for the ride. The back. Try this. Get a paper bag with this brown paper lunch bag and poke a hole on each side near the bottom. Take a piece of tape, about 10 centimeters long, and stick it where you can reach it, like the edge of a table. Now puff up the bag. it like this. Then tape it closed. This is an airbag. Set your airbag flat on the table and push the middle in a little. Get a raw egg, like this crash test egg, and drop it from about 20 centimeters up. Look, it's okay. Now try it again, but put your hand here so you can feel the air come out. It's a cushion. Without the bag, the egg would break. See? It's an egg. Airbag! Airbag! Most cars have a sturdy structure inside them that's shaped like a cage. Well, it's not the kind of cage that would keep something like a wild animal from getting out. No, it's a cage for keeping something like a car crash from getting in. It's sort of like a shark cage. A cage that protects you against sharks. So here's the thing, when you're in a car rolling down the road, you're moving right along with it. So suppose the car hits something and the cage holds its shape. You don't want to keep moving. You don't want to keep going and smack into the cage yourself. You want to be held snugly in your seat. <laughs> That's why you've always got to buckle up. Now, the bigger you are, the more momentum you have. So safety belts have to be made strong enough to hold grown-ups. And airbags have to inflate with enough pressure to protect grown-up drivers. So if you're not as big as the average grown-up, be sure to sit in the back. See, you want to buckle up so that you can stay in your cage. Uh, Bill, did you check the spark plug? How about the battery, Bill? Did you check the glove box, Bill? You didn't, did you? Safety belts and airbags were invented to keep people safer if they get in a car crash. Now, airbags inflate really fast, around 300 kilometers an hour, around uh, 200 miles an hour. So they don't always work too well for smaller people, like kids. So if you're a kid and there's an airbag in the front seat of the passenger side, well, don't sit up here. And if there's an airbag on the driver's side, well, don't sit up here either, because that's a joke. <laughs> See, because cause kids aren't old enough to drive. Kids, all of us for that matter, are always safer in the back, buckled in properly. Now, 
If there isn't a back seat, like in this pickup truck, well then move the seat as far back as it will go. And of course, make sure you're buckled in. And rear-facing child seats should never, ever be placed in the front seat of a car with a passenger side airbag. And of course, everyone in the car should always be properly buckled up. Ha, see, buckled up. You get me? That's the most important yeah. thing. Everybody in any okay. car has always got to have his or her safety gotcha. belt on. We got that the message, That is the name Bill. of the game. That is the key to passenger safety. Bill. Safety belt. The place is full. When you're getting into a car, never buckle up like this. Or like this. Always buckle up like this. Got a problem with that? Because I'll give you a problem. What are we looking at, guy? It's an image on a computer, Bill. It looks like a car. It is. Why do you make images like this? This way we can crash cars without crashing cars. Hmm. A lot of times we have to figure out what happens when a car goes into a telephone pole or a bridge abutment or a rigid wall or another car. Does it always go so slow? On the computer it does, but in the real world it happens in less than a blink of an eye. Less than one tenth of a second. Your safety belt isn't part of the seat, it's part of the car. See, it's attached to the carriage, the cage. That way you stay put even if the car is bouncing all over the place. Buckle up. Buckle up. Buckle up. Buckle up! Hey, Ellen, what are you doing? Hi, Bill. I'm installing airbags. How do they work? At the site of impact, they inflate. How fast? Blink of an eye. Bill, I'm kind of busy. I like to chat when I'm busy. This is an airbag assembly. And this is the airbag. In here, right here, is the inflator. Now, if a car hits something, an electrical signal starts this white solid burning. It's rocket fuel. No kidding. And it burns really fast. Now the assembly sits up here, in this part of a car's dashboard. So if a car hits something, electrical signal starts the rocket fuel burning and sends gas into the bag. This part of the dashboard splits open on purpose, and the bag fills to protect us. <laughs> now this all happens fast, really fast. No, 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 listen, no, listen. Fast, really fast. It's really fast. Watch. See, it happened like that, fast and with a lot of force. That's why you got to be careful where you sit. Most airbags get inflated by a chemical reaction. Right under the airbag, a solid chemical turns into a gas, fast. Fast. Try this. Get a plastic bottle like this. If it's plastic, you can do this a balloon, and some baking soda. It has to be baking soda from a box like this, not baking powder from a can like this. Use a spoon or a cool little spoon straw like this to load the balloon with about six spoonfuls of baking soda. Now load the bottle about halfway with vinegar. And put the balloon onto the bottle. Now shake the powder into the liquid. Look, the balloon inflates. It works just like an airbag. But you don't have to get into a rut to see it. Where do you sit? 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 I sit in the back. It's groovy. OK, you guys, let's climb in. Did any 
Anybody want to sit up here with me? No. What am I, the chauffeur? Yeah. 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 Why doesn't anyone want to sit up here? We're backseat riders, Bill. That's right, because you'll have too much kinetic energy. You'll have too much momentum. Not enough mass to deal with that airbag. <laughs> Let's go. Where's the rest of your car, Bill? It's going to get a little breezy in there, isn't it, Bill? Congratulations, you get the back. I always get the back. See you, dude. Break's over. Hey, you. Get back to work. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you'll excuse me, I've got some neck flexion and extension corridors to evaluate. See ya. Hit it! This can be a rough job sometimes. Uh, uh, glad I was buckled in. Woo! These things happen pretty fast. Blink my eyes, it was over. Hey, there's kinetic energy, momentum, another day at the office. Of course, this is a long office, I guess.